It's Kellen from Wizard Tricks. Right now I am in the harbor. So I want to talk about how teams are going to be picked in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Uh, first thing I want to say is, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, Southern California has been just decimated by tons of fires all over Southern California, one of which has uh, really affected my hometown. Um, actually, a lot of this back here that looks like clouds, that's really actually a lot of smoke. Uh, it's been burning uh, for almost a week now. There's tons of people who've had evacuated and a lot of people have lost their homes. Whole neighborhoods are completely gone. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a link in the description to a relief effort um, to help out the people um, in the community who have lost their homes and who've been affected by this particular fire. So today I really wanna talk about um, how you're gonna get sorted into the teams. In Hogwarts, which is the magical school that Harry goes to, there's four houses. One is Gryffindor, two is Slytherin, three Hufflepuff, and four is uh, Ravenclaw. The game is going to put you in one of those four houses, but how are you going to be categorized into those four houses? I actually want to talk a little bit about Pokemon Go. In Pokemon Go, there are three different teams. There's Instinct, Mystic, and Valor. You reach level five, you're able to pick a team, and you can choose any one of those three. With Harry Potter, I don't think you're necessarily going to pick which house you're going to go in. There's a website called Pottermore, and I'm actually going to go ahead and put that link in the description as well. And I'm going to take you guys through that too, probably when I get back home. But you do a quiz, and based on your quiz, you end up in a certain house. Now that kind of relates to how it works with the sorting hat. The hat that they put on you on all the first years when you go into Hogwarts. kind of th goes into your mind and kind of looks to see what kind of person you are, and then it sorts you into the house that it thinks you'll be most successful in. Difficult, very difficult. That's how they're gonna sort people, is based on your personality, based on a quiz, they'll sort you into a, a house. Which is probably a good thing, because if everyone could pick a team, there's two major houses in Harry Potter. One is Gryffindor and two Slytherin. Those are kind of the different ends of the spectrum, and most people are gonna gravitate towards Slytherin, which is dark, and Gryffindor, which is very light, and then you have Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw, which are in between, and are going to get less people in their houses. I assume that because it actually works that way in Pokemon Go. Mystic, which is the blue team, has the majority of the players around the world are Mystic, which is the blue team. And then it goes Valor, which is red, and Instinct, which is yellow. If you pick to be on the blue team, you have better chances of succeeding in the game because you have more teammates and it's easier to win. Versus yellow with less teammates and it makes it more difficult to be successful in the gameplay. That system makes it pretty unbalanced. If there's a quiz or some sort of process that equally divides the teams like a sorting hat, then that would more that would better balance the entire gameplay and would make the whole game more enjoyable and more competitive. If the odds that you get into one specific house are each 25%, then that should split up the entire world into an equal team. I think that's how it will work. I think that's how it should work. It would make it more fair. I'm also gonna make another video of each house and what kind of qualities each house represents. When I get home, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on Pottermore and do the quiz to sort you in the house. And I'm also gonna drop the link in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. So let's go check out the sunset, it's pretty awesome. I'm back home now and I'm on the Pottermore website where you can do the quiz that will sort you into the house that's most like you. I've done this before uh, a long time ago, but I'm going to walk through it with you guys. I created a new account so I could show you guys. So I'm going to go through that with you guys and you guys can check it out and see how it works. And again, like I said, this is likely how we're going to get sorted into houses based on a quiz that's going to put you in a, a specific category of house, just like the students at Hogwarts got, went through with the sorting hat. A cool thing about this is you guys are going to get to know me a little bit. Being sorted is a pretty personal thing, so I'm going to let you guys in and get to know me a little bit and see 
a little bit about me. We're going to answer some questions and uh, you'll get to see my answers and see which house I get sorted into. All right, so the sorting ceremony. And this happens when ha Harry first gets to Hogwarts. Uh, all the first years get sorted. All right, so the sorting ceremony. That's where when all the first years first get to Hogwarts, they come into the uh, Great Hall and one by one they have the sorting hat put on them and they get sorted into their respective houses. I think the stars for me. All right. If you could have any power, which would you choose? Read minds. The power to change your appearance at will. The power to change the past. To sp uh, the power to speak to animals. The power of superhuman strength. The power of invisibility. I'm going to go with the power of superhuman strength. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you take with you? Tabby Cat? There's a lot. Natter Jack Toad? Common Toad? Barn Owl? Snowy Owl? Brown Owl? Screech Owl? Tawny Owl? White Cat? Black Cat? Ginger Cat? Siamese Cat? Tabby Cat? I'm going to go with a Snowy Owl. I mean, Hedwig is pretty awesome. Who doesn't want Hedwig? A muggle confronts you and says that you are sure you are a wizard or witch. Do you ask what makes him think so? Tell them that you are worried about their mental health and offer to call a doctor. Agree and walk away, leaving them to wonder whether you are bluffing. Agree and ask whether they'd like a free sample of a jinx. I think I would inquire some. Which would you rather be? Envied? Feared? Liked? Praised? Trusted? Imitated? I think I would like to be trusted. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The foamy, frothy, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. A mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink that gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. The golden liquid so bright that hurts your eyes and which makes spun spots dance all around the room. That might be Felix Felicis, which is a, uh, a potion which gives you good luck. So that's probably the one I'm going to choose. The smooth, thick richy purple drink that gives off a delicious delicious smell of chocolate and plums that's probably a love potion like i said i'm gonna go with the golden liquid which of the following would you most hate people to call you ordinary selfish cowardly ignorant i would say ordinary would be what i would least like white or black I'm going to go with white. Hufflepuff. Uh, that's actually really interesting. The first time I did this quiz, I got Ravenclaw, but it has been a little bit. Uh, but I still consider myself more of a Ravenclaw than a Hufflepuff. But that's an example how they could sort you into houses in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Going through a quiz after you reach a certain level and then putting you into that specific team is I think a really great way to sort people into a specific house and I think will distribute people more evenly. So go ahead and check out Pottermore.com. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go to the website and do this quiz yourself if you guys haven't already. <clears throat> this is definitely pretty cool so go ahead and check it out uh, go ahead and also subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be bringing you some information on each individual house and kind of describe why someone would be placed into a specific house and the qualities that go into that so definitely hit the subscribe button and check out those videos when uh, they're released all right 